Hi there, we're in the studio again, as you can see, and for today's creative product shot, I wanted to show you the simple steps it takes to create reflection shots. Now, for the steps to setting up, first consider the product that you are using. So we have these J Balvin sneakers. These are an adult male size. So for scale and for color, I'm going darker, darker backboard, darker uh, background, and that will help make these sneakers pop even more. So if it was a lighter background, it may not have the pop that it has with the darker, so that's why I'm going with the darker background. All you need is, now these are just pieces of foam board, and this is going to be our background. I'll show you how I'm going to set up, but this is what's creating the reflection. Just a sheet of acrylic, and you're just laying it on top of the foam board. This is great because even if you have a different color, let's say you wanted red, or let's say I have a couple options here. Let's say you wanted a colored background or because of the brand, you can simply just interchange it and just lay the acrylic on top and you'll get that reflection. So that can be pretty cool and it just gives you that flexibility um, in the setup. Okay, so I'm going to use my 100 millimeter lens. I'm using my Canon R5C. This 100 is the EF lens, so I have the adapter attached. Um, I'm going to set up my background. I'm going to have my iPad so I can see the images coming through. And let's get going on some of the shots. I just have an Apple box. You can have a stack of books. You can have a chair, whatever works. And I'm just leaning up my background for the image. Now I did some test shots. So this is where we're going with the reflection. That's what we want. Okay, so the further away, I'm gonna probably shoot at a 2.8, but the further away you go from the background, then that will drop off and be blurry for you, but I'll be shooting at a 2.8. Here's the sneaker, so we'll just do the straight on shot first. See that reflection already? Love it. All right, so I'm just going to we'll put this up here so you can see them coming through. Okay, so we'll do a horizontal. I'm at 2.8, ISO 1000, shutter speed is 125th. I want to get that reflection. Okay. That's coming in. And here we have that great reflection shot at the bottom. <laughs> this is funny with the iPhone. Okay. Um, all right. So because of my 100, I'm just going to move you over here. I'm going to do a horizontal shot. Okay, so I just have my focal point right on this detail here, and you can just see the reflection on this sheet of acrylic. It's so powerful. Okay, so let's, this has a lot of fun color. I might take out the second pair. Maybe if we put these side by side, because you can see the reflection right in here. Okay, let's see how this works. And we have the different emblems, which is cool. I'm gonna do a vertical for this shot. Again, 2.8. I'm gonna straighten this a little bit. 
So a little bit of separation. Grab a horizontal. Take this one out. I might lay this one. Let's see what happens here. I'm gonna go up higher. Doesn't look as great. Okay, a horizontal. Again, I'm shooting all those at 2.8 ISO 1000. As you can see, that great drop off, I'm focusing on here. It's showing all the little details of the sneaker. Here it is with the two of them, all with this simple acrylic. And I think it just makes the sneakers really pop. Okay, I will leave um, information in the description below. I hope this was helpful. Simple product shot that you can accomplish anywhere just with a sheet of acrylic. Keep in mind the size of your product, the color of your product, how you want to make it pop off the screen, and have fun with this one. And if you want to dive deeper, I'm going to leave a video here of other um, at-home or in-studio product photography shots to consider, and I'll leave the video right here. See you there!